happy Halloween, you guys. My name's Ramney, this is Drama 2, and today we're going to be drawing Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th. When talking about Halloween, you think of horror movies. And when you think of horror movies, you think of slasher monsters. And we already did Freddy Krueger, and we have other ones like Leatherface, Michael Myers, Clownface, and of course, let's not forget Jason Voorhees with his iconic hockey mask and machete. Now, did you guys know that the actual monster from the very first Friday the 13th movie was not Jason Voorhees, it was actually Jason's mom. And the story goes that Mrs. Voorhees sent his son Jason to Crystal Lake uh, at a youth camp. And while he was there, because he was neglected by camp counselors, he drowned in Crystal Lake. And so Jason's mom, in a fit of rage, sought revenge by attempting to kill all of the camp counselors one by one. The Jason Voorhees that we know actually comes in the second movie of the franchise to avenge the death of his mom from the first movie. So that is the story pretty much of Jason Voorhees. So today we're going to be drawing Jason in the same level of detail that we did for Freddy Krueger and the Colossal Titan. As usual, what you guys need is a pencil, an eraser, any type of white paper, and a black pen so you can ink afterwards. As you guys are watching this tutorial, remember that you can pause at any time so you can catch up on your drawings. We all draw at different speeds, so find a pace that works for you and stick to it. And if your artwork does not look anything like mine, that is completely fine as well. Having said all of that, let's jump into it. Let's get started with our Jason Voorhees drawing. And as you guys can see, I've got my paper in landscape form. And we're going to draw Jason. He's going to be looking this way. He's going to have his machete over his shoulder. So let's get started. Now, the as usual, what I'm going to do first is a circle right here. And this is going to be for his head. I'm not very good at drawing circles today, it seems. That's about good. Okay, now he's going to have a mask, and his mask sort of runs down this way. And, and I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to make this side a little more straight, and this one a little more curved. So it looks like he is... He's got his head turned this way. So as you can see, if you guys can see it, this is a little bit more straight. And this one is more curved, like I say, like, like I'm saying. Okay, and that's, that's where the mask is going to go. Now this is where his head is. And it goes along there and then it goes, it sort of goes down like this right here. Underneath his mask, I'm just going to draw a little curve like this. And that's, that's going to be a shadowy area. It's going to be well lit with really dark shadows. All right. I'm going to draw a line going out like this, and that's actually going to be his shirt. His shirt is going to be tattered. And then I'm going to draw just where his jacket goes. It goes down like this. And right here, it's going to go from, from the shoulder, right here, right behind the neck here. And then it just goes like that, and it goes down. Okay? And right here, just some tatters and a shirt that goes like that. It actually folds out like this with buttons hanging from it, just like that. So that's one fold. And then we're going to draw this. We're going to draw it going up like this. And then we're going to add more details to that later on. Let's uh, continue with the figure. Let's go back over here. Let's draw the um, collar of the jacket. So I'm going to start over here. I'm going to draw a line going up and then curves out like this. Okay, and then I'm going to bring this up and then to the back of the head, back of the neck, right there. Now, I'm going to go back over here, and I'm just going to draw just a rounded shoulder like this. No clear definition. So from here, just just goes straight down. Okay, now the shoulder is going to be right here. Actually, the seam is going to be right there. Let me clean that up for you. So that's where the seam is going to go. And then here's a little fold. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start right here. I'm going to make my way up and then curve down like this. Just a little stylized way of drawing the curl on the fabric here. And then from here, actually right here, I'm going to draw a line going down. And then here it's going to be tattered. And I'll show you guys how to do that later on. A wrinkle right there. Clean that up a bit. I'm going to draw a line from here to here. Now this side, the, actually I'm going to start over here and I'm going to draw, this is the inner lining of the jacket and it goes out like that. 
and then just some wrinkles right here. And then actually I'm going to draw a line like this. There you go. And then the collar. So see this collar right here kind of goes behind the neck here and then continues out on this side. It's going to go down like that. And then it's going to go like this. Okay, so it kind of touches this little corner that we have right here. And then it goes back out. And then this is going to be in tatters. So let's, uh, let's draw it anyway. It goes down like that. And then forward. And then like this. So I'm going to draw it like that for now. But what I'm going to do is go back later on. And I'm going to add some rips uh, to that part. Okay, now back to here. I'm going to draw the shoulder. Shoulder kind of goes down like this. So that's the shoulder. And then before I... Before I draw the rest of the arm, first I'm going to find where the elbow is going to be. So I'm going to go over here. I'm just going to go like this. And then right here, I'm just going to draw this curve. And then that's this right here, this whole thing. I'm going to show you guys how to draw the wrinkles so that it's a sleeve that's curving upward like that. Now we're going to try to make it about this wide is how we want it. Okay, we're going to leave it like that for now because what we want to do is we want to draw the machete and the machete goes across his back. So from here, I'm going to draw a straight line and imagine this straight line going behind his neck to the other side over here. Like that. Okay, so that's the bottom part of the machete. That's the flat part. And then the, the uh, top of the machete, we're going to start right here and we're going to make our way. It gets a little bit wider as you go to the right and then it gets wide and then it, it, it curves. So once you get once you get to this point, what you want to do is you want to start curving it just like that. Okay. So now I'm going to go back over here. We've got the blade of the machete. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to make a narrow part. And then I'm going to curve it up like that. Because his machete, actually, it the blade kind of ends right there. And then it has this little narrow, narrow part right there. Okay. Now let's draw the hilt. The hilt is a little curve like this, and I'm going to draw that twice. Make sure that uh, the uh, the sword or the, the the blade part is at the center of the hilt. So imagine the hilt divided into three equal parts, and that's how you, you get the hilt. Okay, so it's equal from here to here, and here to here. Okay. Now let's draw the the thumb. Here's the thumb. Kind of goes like that. Goes out like this. And then I'm going to draw from here, I'm going to draw a diagonal line and then, a, and then a line going across. Okay. So that's where I'm going to have his jacket go. And then I'm going to draw the individual fingers. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to continue this line right here, this way. And I'm going to continue this line going this way so that we know where the handle is going to be. And then once we have that, I'm going to draw the fingers and the fingers are Actually, one goes like this. Of course, there's going to be four fingers, two, and it gets smaller and smaller, as you guys can see. One, two, three, four. Okay. Once you have the four fingers, I'm going to end the handle right there by drawing like a, a really thin rectangle. And then I'm going to draw a curve right here. And that's going to be the other part of his hand. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a sleeve. I'm going to go back to the end of the sword here. I'm going to draw a curve going out, and then I'm going to make it follow this curve right here. Just like that. I'm going to erase this, actually, because what's going to happen is the, the jacket is huge. And so it's going to cover his arm somewhat. So I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to curve it this way, and then going, going to the right, tatters. And when I draw tatters, it's just going to be a series of zigzags, just random zigzags like that. Okay. So that's how we draw his arm. And actually I'm going to bring this in a little bit more. It goes in like this and then like that. And then there you go. So, so we've got that. Now I'm going to show you guys how to draw the curves and the curves like that. The fold in the fabric goes like this, one big one right there. And then here's the second one and actually goes like this and like that. And then here's another one in the middle that goes like this. 
one like that. And then over here, just going across like this. And then on this side, now what I'm going to do is on this part, I'm going to make it tattered. And then just rough. Now for his jacket, I don't want any smooth lines. I want to try to make it as, as a tattered and torn up as possible. So I'm just going to just make a series of just really random zigzags. And that's just to make it so that it's it's really worn and it's really old and it's kind of falling apart. And you can tell that he hasn't washed it in a while. And over here, goes like that. Okay, and now go like this. Okay, so there you go. That's uh, that's the jacket, that's the sleeve. He wears black gloves. And the way that you want these to look like gloves is the seams. So once you have the fingers like this, you wanna draw kind of just where the finger bends. So this little line right there, it bends like that. And then on each side is going to be a seam. And that's kind of how you can tell that it's not, they're not fingers, they're gloves. Okay, and then wrinkle right there for the thumb and then a seam going down like this and in. There you go. All right, let's, uh, let's go to the head now and let's um, focus on giving him that, that classic iconic look. So I'm gonna erase that part and then I'm going to draw a line going down the middle that's going to be the middle line. Okay. And I'm going to draw a line right here going across. And all right. So the nose, let's do the nose and it's going to be curved like that. And then it goes out like that. Okay. Now beneath that, I'm going to draw an oval like this. And I'm going to, I'm going to go over here, find a spot over here. I'm going to go along that line that we drew at the top. And this one isn't, it's kind of an egg shape, not quite a circle. And it kind of goes like this. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to color that in. I'm not going to draw the pupils. By doing that, it makes your monster look scarier because if you, just not having any pupils just makes a, a monster just look that much more terrifying. And you'll see that uh, they do that a lot in, in horror. That's what makes Batman look scary too, is when they don't draw the, uh, the pupils inside. It kind of makes him look more than, less than human. Okay, I'm gonna draw a breathing hole right there. Just one. So it goes like that, and then a breathing hole right there. Okay, now let's, uh, let's draw a triangle above. So see this little point right here? A little bit above it, I'm gonna draw two lines like this. Obviously, this one's going to be longer than this one. Okay. That's one pattern. And then I'm going to draw a, a line above it. And it kind of goes up towards the top of the mask right there, just like that. Okay. And then right here, I'm going to draw a triangle right here, very lightly. Right here is going to be a strap. And this is the strap that goes to the back of his head. It's what keeps his mask in place. I'm going to draw a circle right there. There you go. I'm going to draw that same strap up here, but up here, it's going to look like a, just a diamond shape with a circle inside. And you don't really get to see that strap. Let me clean that up for you so you can see it. There you go. Okay. Now I'm going to go from here, from the side of the, uh, from the bottom of the nose here, I'm going to draw a line going down and another one right here. Those are guidelines. So do them lightly. And then I'm going to draw a line across like this. Same thing on this side. And then from here, I'm going to draw a line going like that and like this. And then I'm going to draw a triangle over here. And the reason why I do that is so that we know the placement of each breathing hole. So the hockey mask is going to have a series of holes. And uh, now we know where they're going to go. You want to try to make these holes similar in size with each other. Okay. so. I'm going to start right here in the corners and that's a good size right there. 
as you go, as you get to this side, actually, you want those holes to be a little bit more oval because they're, you're not looking at them directly. You're looking at them at an angle. So at an angle, a circle will look like an oval. Okay, so there's two right there. And then we're gonna draw two right here and here. And we're gonna draw two more above like that. One, two. Okay, so those are, those are the ones at the top of his head. For this triangle, I'm gonna draw a circle in each of the corners. Same thing over here, circle in each corner of this triangle. Now over here, I'm gonna draw a circle right here. And then I'm going to draw a triangle right here. So one line that goes along that line that we did, a little diagonal line like this, and then a longer line like that. That's how it goes. Now over here, there's gonna be three, and I'm gonna start at the top in the corner. One, two, three. That's where you wanna even that out, evenly spaced. Okay. And then over here, one, and then two. And then right here, slightly at an angle, so it's or it's oval, more oval shaped, one, two. And then right here, you won't be able to see it, but it starts to get more oval as you get to the sides. Okay, and then a little hole right there, and that's it. Once we start inking, I'm going to start erasing those lines so that it'll look like, it'll look more traditionally like, like Jason's mask. Okay, so we've got that. I'm gonna shade this in. This whole thing is gonna be completely black. And I'm going to draw a little bit of his hair. You know, some, some of the depictions of Jason, depending on the movie, he has hair that's falling out, some hair that's long, and some, some depictions he's completely bald behind the mask. So I'm going to draw just a really, not, not straight at all, it's gonna be a little rough shape like that. I'm gonna draw some hair sticking out every which way. And then I'm going to draw some hair going down like this. And this mask or this machete is also going to be darkened. So I'm going to just keep that shape. So this hair is just going to go from the back of the head here and then just runs along towards the machete. Like that. Okay. I'm going to have a little shadow right here. So I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to fill that in later on. Over here, I'm going to darken some parts of the machete, but then there'll be some parts that I'm going to keep. Um, sorry, I'm going to keep it light. So black and then white. Okay, so there's that. Let's go back over here. Let's go to his shirt now and add the details in his shirt. And let's draw the collar first. This is the shadow, as I mentioned earlier. Remember the collar, I'm going to make it zigzaggy. And then Another curved line going across, zigzaggy. And if you really want to add some detail to this, you can draw the, uh, I mean, if you see some collars, most collars have this uh, line, like these little straight lines that go uh, along its width. And then just more wrinkles down here. And then just a really, uh, yeah, just a wrinkle right there. All right, like I said, what you want to do is you want to make this look tattered and beaten up. And you do that by just adding some more details. And we'll just keep it like that for now, but that's a, that's good for his shirt. Now let's do this collar right here. Let's make it look tattered and beat up and worn. So you want to try to remove all of the smooth straight lines and you want to make them crooked, crooked lines. Here, I'm just gonna draw, I'm gonna draw it tattered, completely tattered. Okay, now underneath that, I'm gonna add some shadow. So there's shadow right there, and also shadow underneath, right there. All right, you see the, uh, the seam on the side here? This is the seam for the jacket. All right, I'm gonna continue this going down. Right? And then I'm going to have a whole bunch of fibers kind of just sticking out of it. All right, here's a wrinkle that goes up like this. I'm going to thicken it. I'm going to make it thicker so that it's a, it's a bit of a shadow. 
And now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna draw a whole bunch of wrinkles that go along this jacket. And then what I'm going to do, I'm gonna make this one thicker actually. I'm gonna draw some, like a hole in this jacket right here. Like that, and then I'm gonna draw some more down here. And this one is just, just really old and about to come apart. It's like he's killed a whole bunch of people in the same jacket and didn't bother to wash it. Because why would he wash it? Okay, and then over here. Like that. And then lastly, I'm just gonna draw the sleeve going down. I'm gonna darken that and I'm going to darken this part right here. That's it. So adding wrinkles to it just gives it that weathered look. Just like that. Now we're gonna go over here. Let's do this part now. And this is, I don't know what it is. It's, is it overalls? But it's just, uh, it looks knitted though. So here are the buttons. And this one, what, I'm, what I would do if I were you guys, and I would just lightly do this with a pencil. And that's the kind of where the fiber, the grain of the fiber goes. And then right here, I'm gonna draw a line going up like that. And then just gonna draw a bunch of lines going down like this. And right here, I'm gonna create like a really dark shadow. Okay, so it gets thicker here and then goes thin over here. And then once you get to this shirt, I'm gonna make it thicker even more. Much like that. And then I'm gonna take this opportunity to make this line a little more crooked. Okay, I'm gonna finish this off by just drawing these light lines like that. Now, this is the lining of the jacket, like I said. We drew some initial wrinkles already. We can draw some spots if you want to, just to give it a weathered look. And you want those spots to be different sizes and different lengths. They don't all have to be circle. Okay. Now this is the uh, collar part that becomes the uh, zipper part of the jacket right here. So I'm gonna make a whole bunch of um, wrinkles right here and some rips in the seam. Right there. All right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw zigzags right here. More zigzags. Just like that. Right here, jagged line, and then at the tip here, I'm gonna do a zigzag. I'm gonna shade that in. I'm gonna shade this in. And then I'm gonna create this shadow right here. So this whole thing is under shadow. And from here, it goes down. If you guys did this line right here, I'm gonna make that, make that line thicker. I'm gonna to go to this line. I'm gonna make that line thicker. And it's all gonna be shadow. So I'm gonna make all of these little lines right here thick. Thicker, thicker. And then where there isn't any lines, I'm just gonna create more wrinkles and things like that. Actually, this is where you kind of need to experiment and see what your drawing is starting to look like. And if it, and the shadows that you're creating look nothing like mine, that is completely fine. Because, you know, that's the tough part is, you know, just creating, showing you exactly how the shadows fall. If I did that, it would be just, it would be really time consuming. So this is kind of where I just guide you and you have to use your instinct to figure out where the shadow is going to go. So there's light on this side shining this way. So the shadows are going to be on, are on the right side. Okay. Now, lastly, I'm going to darken, I'm actually going to darken all of this right here. And then I'm going to just darken some parts of the glove and the hilt as well. That's going to be shadow from the fingers. Yeah. 
not hilt, I meant handle. There you go. I think we're good. Is there anything else? Let's uh, add some tatters right here. And when you're inking it, you guys, you can add some more details to, to all of that. And is there anything else? I think that's it. I'm going to draw some a dot in the middle of these two circles right there uh, of the, um, what do you call it? Okay. Uh, whatever this is called the, that attaches the strap to the mask. I'm going to draw a dot in the middle and that's it. You guys, that is how you draw Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th. And that is all the time that we have today. Thank you for watching all the way to the end of this video. I hope your drawings of Jason Voorhees turned out great. And if you guys are proud of them, I would really love to see it. Head on over to the Google Plus community page and post your artwork there, or send it to me via email at draw2.com. If you guys are curious about the equipment that I use to make my videos or to draw my tutorials, I have links to those in the description below. Clicking on those links helps to support content creators like myself so we can continue making good content for you guys for free. My question of the day, Freddy versus Jason. Aside from the movie, let me know what you guys think. Who do you think will win in a death battle? If this is your first time here, I would love to have you guys subscribe. Here in this channel, I show you how to draw your favorite characters in easy to follow, simple step-by-step -step instructions. So if you guys like what you see, come on over and hit that red subscribe button here. And if you did enjoy this tutorial, it would help me a great deal if you guys liked this video, commented below, or shared this tutorial with your friends in social media. And speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Google+, and on my website, draw2.com, where you can download a free coloring page of Jason Voorhees, plus tons more coloring pages. So head on over there and download all of them if you want to. Again, all of those links are down below. And finally, thank you for watching. And as always, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. I'll see you in my next tutorial. I forgot what I was going to say. Is this better at the bottom? Or top? Kind of sucks you don't see my shirt. All you see is this thing that looks like grass, but it's actually the Joker. <laughs>